This tutorial demonstrates the connection of a handheld scanner to a field bus system. In this case, we use the EtherCAT system. The intention is to show electromechanical commissioning and configuration of the software settings as a couple of examples. Finally, the Programmable Logic Controller, PLC, receives and displays the desired scan data result. As PLC configurations and support are always customer specific and not part of this tutorial, contact the PLC manufacturer if required. The setup contains the following components. Notebook with TwinCAT System Manager and TwinCAT PLC Control, Handheld Scanner HW1910, Connection Cable with RS232 Plug, Adapter to convert from 24V to 5V and D-Sub 9-pin to 15-pin, Fieldbus CDF600, EtherCAT Connection Cable, 4-pin Ethernet Female Connector, Ethernet to USB adapter, Beckhoff CX9010 PLC, EtherCAT Terminal Clamp Module EK1110, Power Supply for the CDF and Scanner, and finally a special information leaflet with configuration code which configures the handheld scanner. Commissioning of the hardware. Connect the handheld scanner using the scanner connection cable and the adapter converter to the RS232 socket name device of the CDF. Then connect the CDF with the EtherCAT terminal device using the EtherCAT cable. The back of CX9010 PLC is connected to the PC via Ethernet Cable Plus Converter. The handheld scanner is powered by the CDF via pin 9 of the adapter converter. It is important to set the mode switch from default position 0 to position 2 before powering. If forgotten, the complete setup fails. Now power up the hardware. Steady lit LEDs on the modules indicate the finished and successful power up. Now the complete setup is powered. For correct communication, the handheld scanner must be configured in serial working mode, which is done by scanning the configuration barcode from special information leaflet. And now the electromechanical connection is done. To configure EtherCAT and Beckhoff, the respective software must be used. The following procedure shows click by click an example of configuration of the system. Start TwinCAT PLC control and TwinCAT system manager. In TwinCAT System Manager, set the PLC in configuration mode by clicking the respective button. A window informs you about the restarting configuration mode, click OK. On the next window, load IO devices, click No. Next, click on the plus symbol of the tab IO devices. Right click on device 2, choose Scan Boxes. The CDF600, in this case box 5, appears. Now the EUE has to be deactivated. Click on box 5, tab EtherCAT, Advanced Settings, Mailbox, EOE. Remove the marker on Virtual Ethernet port. Click OK. For correct communication, change process data from 16 bytes to 32 bytes. First click on the plus symbol of box 5, choose Tab Process Data, select Outputs in the Windows Sync Manager. In the window PDO list, look for the output with 32 bytes. Select the respective index in the window PDO assignment. The input is chosen by the same procedure. In the window PDO list, look for the input with 32 bytes. Select the respective index in the window PDO assignment. Now the process data have to be linked with the program. Click on the plus symbol of confirm messaging 32 bytes in and out. Right click on Confirm Messaging in 32 bytes. Change link, choose the array which is used in the program and confirm with OK. The same procedure with Confirm Messaging out 32 bytes. Now choose Mappings and click Generate Mappings. In order to check the configuration, click on the hook symbol. Finally click Activate Configuration. Restart TwinCAT in run mode. Open the PLC control. Click on login. A window appears. Click yes. Now click on the run symbol. Next in TwinCAT system manager, the tab online shows the current state of the PLC. In this case, the current state of the PLC is in operation. Now in TwinCAT PLC control, the scanning results are shown in the right window.
SIG provides a functional block, which also shows the scanning results. Click on the tab Visualizations. Now the scanning results are shown in the right window. This tutorial demonstrated setup of a field bus system with a handheld scanner. HW19 series, reliable 2D code identification for challenging industrial applications.